Hey everybody, so I have not gotten ready yet today. I'm gonna be getting ready with you guys. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Justina, or Justine, and I am working with Saint, and I am so in love with my one compact makeup system. This is all that you do, or you need. This is all that I'm gonna use today. I have my main highlight, my brightening highlight, contour, and my lip and cheek color. So these are essentially what you would call your foundation. This is your contour, and that's gonna help you pop. So let's get started. I think today I'm going to start with my brightening highlight, and I'm gonna use my buff brush. So I'm gonna take the smaller end of my brush, and I'm just gonna dip it gently into my brightening highlight, which is called Moonlit. So you don't need a lot with this product. A little goes a long way. It's extremely pigmented. So I'm gonna start up here. And I'm gonna go down my nose a little bit. Under my eyes. As you can see, I have a lot of redness today, so you will see how well this makeup will help tone down that redness. Hello everybody, happy Friday, here we are. There we go. So yeah, this is my brightening highlight. This is just gonna make my face pop. Um, I like to start lighter to darker. That's how I usually put on my colors. There we go. So you're gonna go all under your eyes. I'm gonna bring mine down just a bit more to give myself a bit more coverage where it's really, really red. My face just feels super hot. I don't know why I go through these weird phases where my face just gets really red and then feels like it's burning. So there we go. So now I'm gonna go to my main highlight. I'm gonna take the same end and I'm gonna dip it very gently into my tin and I'm gonna put it everywhere where I would grow a beard. There we go. It is covering up my redness amazingly. Just like that, my goodness, I love this stuff. There we go. Everywhere where I would grow a beard. <laughs> there we are. Okay, and I'm gonna put a little bit just above my temple area like where the high point of my eyebrows are. There we go. Okay. That's that. And now I'm going to do my contour. So contouring is really easy. It is not scary at all. If you've never contoured before, this is the makeup to contour with because it is so, so easy. So I'm gonna take the thick end of my buff brush. The buff brush is perfect for contouring. I'm just gonna dip it gently into my contour tin. There, see, super easy. See how much I got? I got quite a lot. So I'm gonna go just on my cheekbone there. And you can see the way this brush is shaped, the tip of it, it's the perfect line, the perfect size line that you want for contouring. There we go. I mean, all of our brushes are amazing, but this one is definitely my favorite for applying the product. There we go. And now I'm gonna put some on the top of my forehead. So don't, when you're doing this part, don't be afraid to go down a little further. Um, some people who aren't sure about contouring we'll just do like the finest line up here which is totally fine but if you really want that 3d look it's always nice to go down a little further with your contour when i first started i was so scared to contour i barely put any on but now that i'm more familiar with it i'm like let's go all out today hello mama there we go and then I'm gonna put some down here on my jawline. And I'm gonna put some on the sides of my nose. 
there we go so what I just did there was I actually just took my finger and I put it in and I just warmed it up a little bit and that's how I'm going to apply my contour it's easier to do it that way for me I can be a little bit more precise there you go okay so now I'm going to blend this all in I actually really like our buff and or buff our bronzer and blush brush for blending it it's, uh, it's an, it gives you an amazing amount of coverage and it just blends out the product so beautifully. It just gives you that little airbrush look when you're blending it and not streaky. There we go. I'm so happy it's Friday. Does anyone have any fun plans for the weekend? I'm just gonna be a mom, you know, doing the mom life. So as you can see, this redness is slowly but surely starting to calm the F down. This makeup is amazing. If you have uh, eczema or if you have um, food allergies, I know for me food allergies always makes my skin really red, um, or if you are just really sensitive to life, like myself as well, this stuff is amazing nice that's fun elena your older brother lives close to you right or does he live a fair drive away there so i'm blending my contour up you want to make sure when you're blending their darker colors you're always going up like that into your cheekbone or up towards your eyes sorry that's what i meant there okay so you can see that blended super super easy it looked really funny at first, but it blended really well. So now I'm just gonna go lightly down here. There we go. And you can see that's blending really easily as well. Oh, I like that, okay. And now I'm just gonna add a few touch-ups. Um, sometimes when I'm finished doing this, I like to go back in with my brightening highlight just to kind of give me that extra extra pop there we go so a little bit extra brightening there maybe thumb down there and a little extra brightening under my eye just kind of up to that area a little down more so there we go that redness is just disappearing um, I didn't show you guys in the video, but I actually did my brows before I started this video and I did it with my contour color and our brow brush, which is amazing. It has a lovely fine tip here for giving yourself those natural looking brush strokes. And then it has a fluffier end so you can brush your hair up and brush the product into it. So I'm, I love our, um, brow brush. It's amazing. Okay. There we go. So I added in that, my brightening highlight. Let's just go down here a bit more. Perfect. And now I'm gonna add my lip and cheek color. I'm gonna use Tropicana today. I really love this color. Elena, have you tried your Tropicana yet? My friend Amanda put hers on this morning and she loves Tropicana. It's such a nice color. There we go. So yeah, this is right. This is a lip and cheek color. So you can use the same color for your lips and your cheeks. It's a double whammy and it costs the same price as one of the tins. So you're really getting two products in one, which is super awesome. Okay, so now I'm gonna blend this out a bit with my fluffier end of my blush and bronzer brush. There we go. And I'm gonna put some on my lips. Oh, sorry, I haven't even checked my messages yet. I will definitely check them. There we go. So that is on there. And you know what? I'm even going to add a little bit of illuminator today. My favorite illuminator is the rose gold. So the bronzer, if you're using bronzer, bronzer gives you the warmth. The illuminator gives you the glow. I absolutely love this stuff. So I, I always put a little bit down my nose a little extra on the tip of your nose there and I like to go just on the tip 
of my cheekbone, just kind of above where I put the blush. There we go. You can also use this for eyeshadow. You can also put some, some people like to put, actually I'll do that today, a little bit down here, and a little bit down there. Um, this stuff is amazing. So I'm just gonna buff it in a little bit because I don't want to slide the product around. There we go. And just like that, you're done. Um, so if you have any questions about the products that I use today, message me. If you have any questions about the artist program or what I'm doing, um, message me. And I really appreciate your time and thank you for getting ready with me. Take care. Bye guys.